Hey y'all, we're going to do a quick uh, front diff change this time. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the rear, but a little different. Uh, I'm going to be using Amsoil Severe Gear 75W90. Uh, the rear diff took 250 mils. Now the owner's manual says that the front diff takes 500 mils. So we'll see about that. Uh, same as the rear, all you need is a 6 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. Uh, the fill plug here, it was on there really good. I couldn't, this, uh, this little multi-tool couldn't handle it. I had to take it off and stick a screwdriver in the Allen like that in order to get it to pop loose. Uh, and on this one too, see the rear diff, the, uh, the drain plug is down there. But on your front, we have to come way up under here. And there should be a hole cut out right here. And you can see there's your drain plug, your 5mm Allen. So, uh, you can get to drain and see what it looks like. I'm going to unscrew the fill plug here, see if anything comes out. See how much it's filled from factory. I got a little paper towel down there to keep it off my frame. It's like the rear, nothing will come out. Come on. There we go. Yep. Nothing there. Same style plugs in the rear. Don't lose your washer. I got my Allen up in here. I'm gonna start it. And try to pull this out where we don't get messy. Alright, here we go. Ooh, not too bad. That hole looks fine. I don't see a problem with that hole at all. My rear was a little speckly, but this looks real good. We don't use our front diff nearly as much as our rear, so it makes sense. Alright, I've been a street sweeper going up and down my road, so I already got half of it in there. Half the 500. We're at 250. Oh, y'all don't want to sit through that anyway, so get that tube in here, we'll roll it over, and let's get the rest. See if it'll hold full 500. Coming out a little bit. Let it sit for a sec. Well, let's stick it in there. Right See if we can't get the rest of this in there. It looks like it's still running out. So it's pretty, pretty darn close. Two a 500 milliliter sport started leaking. So I guess front dip, yeah, you can just fill it until it starts overflowing. Should be good to go. Just remember when you put your uh, drain plug and your fill plug back in there, do not over tighten it. Don't want to strip that out. But anyways, that should be it. I'll be doing the transmission or gearbox next. So, later guys.